Hmm. Kenyan people are angry with Wodemaya for divorcing Miss Trudy. And another thing again there is that there is no love there. There is no love. Is there? There is no love. The love is just one-sided. And Kenyans are not ready to give up because Kenyans are at war with the Ghanaians because Wodemaya is married to Miss Trudy. Let's discuss about this issue. Welcome and welcome back again to my channel. Let's see your favorite girl, UJ, aka Mami Equa in the building. So, guys, today let's discuss about this trending issue. There's a recent interview Miss Trudy had. She was discussing about a marital affair with Wodemaya. I'll be playing some of the clips here for you guys to listen to. And after watching this video, we will come back to the video and react on it. Let's work together. And I think it is something we have now accepted that we are two different people with two different goals. Although we love each other. So initially, I used to be so scared. Oh, I used to be so scared. I used to cry. Oh my God, I used to cry so much because when he travels alone, people would send me videos. Oh, have you seen Maya with this girl? We almost ended our relationship so many times. So guys, you've seen the video. Miss Trudy was, uh, she was explaining the uh, marriage to this uh, interviewer. She was talking a lot about her marriage, how it has been for her. And you know, as a Kenyan married to a Ghanaian, there's a lot of things you need to learn and relearn and learn and relearn. You know, you make mistakes most times to readjust. You also readjust to the environment which you understand as human is that we are from a different background. We are from a different, you know, culture entirely and miss really getting married to a Ghanaian, you know coming from kenya west african you know east african country and coming down to a west african country she gets to learn a lot about the culture the food the people and every other thing you know and when i tell people that you know when people keep on saying oh miss trudy well the maya doesn't like miss trudy kenyan people came out and said hey uh, they were born in Ghanaians. Ghanaians, if your brother treats our sister badly, we are going to show you that we are Kenyans and we do not accept people treating our own sister badly. But the reverse is the case because in the interview, a lot of people did not watch the interview from the beginning to the end. They just concluded that, oh, Miss Trudy and Wudemaya are divorced. Miss Trudy and Wodemaya are divorced, that she is not happy in the marriage. You know, one thing is about getting married to a content creator, and Wodemaya is this kind of person that do not have that time. He's always busy on the road, two for seven, creating contents. And it is not that he doesn't really like his partner, he loves his partner. He has always been supporting Miss Trudy in everything she do. But Miss Trudy, on the other hand, she said it on the interview that she always wanted more, you know. And she said when Wodemaya told her that she is not going to be traveling with her, with him, everywhere he goes to, that she felt bad. That why would I be married to you, travel with you, wherever you go to? And she said she would be at home sometime. People would send her pictures of Wodemaya with a girl. People would send her pictures of a lot of things that she would keep on crying. That she cried and cried and cried that she got tired that at some point they wanted to end the marriage and everyone goes their separate ways because she did not understand how it works you know that is marriage for you when you're just starting most times it's like that and she gets married to a content creator that creates content with everyone you know and with the maya and most times those people you create content with are just ladies that want to create content with him or people immersed that they want to create content together but being a lady at the back of her mind she is already thinking they have something to do with each other and she also complained about the food that she struggled so much with the food and i've been saying it here you know as a foreigner in a foreign land you get to experience you know that a lot when you're married to a foreigner if you're not married to someone from your own country you it's very very difficult for you to adapt to the food to the way of life of the people and she said Adapting to the food is a whole lot for her because she missed her Kenyan cuisines. She missed eating the Kenyan cuisines that it has become so difficult for her to adapt to the food. But as time goes on, she started adapting to the food. She started loving the Ghanaian cuisine. That even right now, she says she's addicted to most of the Ghanaian cuisine. You know, marriage, when people come out and say, hey, Ghanaians do not know how to get married. Ghanaian men are bad. That Wodemaya is just a bad person to Miss Trudy. Wodemaya is not caring. 
Well, the Maya is not laughing. I've seen people come out and say, oh, this, this marriage is one-sided. That it is only Miss Trudy that loves with the Maya. That when the Maya only married Miss Trudy out of pity. How would someone marry someone out of pity? And of which it is with the Maya that went for Miss Trudy. He saw Miss Trudy and he knew that, oh, Miss Trudy is my own person. And they got married. He proposed to her and they got married. You know, and people are saying, oh, this love is one sided, and Mudamaya is treating Miss Trudy bad, and Kenyan people are attacking Ghanaians. You know, a whole lot. I think I'll be reading some of these comments section. If I see any of them, I will just read it out here. I'll do a voiceover and read it out for you guys to see what a lot of comments that they were dropping for the Ghanaians and Mudamaya. So people that will come out here and say, hey, oh, Ghanaian men do not know how to take care of their women, it is the lie. I've seen Ghanaian men that lost, that knows how to take care of their women, and they are doing perfectly well in that aspect. So for Miss Trudy and Wodemaya, there is nothing like divorce for them. This is a phase, this is like a phase in marriage that they need to pass through for them to be able to stand stronger. And she also complained about when she came here, the culture shock she had about people always saying yes please any little thing yes please even when they offend them yes please hey yes please hey yes please that she was like this is not a cultural thing in their own place that in kenya you don't tell people yes please you know when people offend you they'll put hey me pacho why me pacho me pacho me pacho <laughs> that is yes please so it was strange to her and she was it, she gets she got imitated at some point that why would i be scolding you and you are still saying yes please to me but right now she's adapting that is to show you how Ghanaians are. They are very respectful when it's, you know, when they want to respond to you, they respond to you with yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. Do you have a hotel? Yes, please. Are you okay? Yes, please. Are you not? Yes, no, please. <laughs> you know, so all those things is what she found so strange getting married to someone from West Africa. She coming from the East African country and getting married to someone from the West African country is a whole lot for her. It is strange, but she is adapting to the situation in here in Ghana. And she is loving the Ghanaian cuisine. I've shared videos of her talking about how uh, life has been as an expatriate here in Ghana. So coming from Kenya and going to Ghana, how life has been for her. She explained a whole lot of things there on that video. And I've shared that video. I think I'll be dropping the link of the video for you guys to go check it out and for you all the people going about criticizing Ghanaian people hey it's enough the video is not all about criticizing Ghanaians or with the Maya is not taking care of Ghana she's just saying what the difficult like the thing she found difficult doing there in Ghana the first time she came to Ghana and the first experience she had in her marriage but right now she's cool so people going about hey Ghanaian people don't marry Ghanaian men don't do this don't associate with Ghanaian people it is not so deep like that, you know. That stereotype. Now, this thing that's happening, I don't start classifying that. Oh, all Ghanaian men are like this, you know. People that did not watch the video to the end will come out to say a whole lot of things, you know. Just in the same way, they have the same stereotype with Nigerian men. Oh, don't get married to Nigerian men; they will break your heart. It is not all Nigerian men that are like that. It is just one thing. You heard the story from this person. You heard the story from this person. You come to the conclusion that oh. All Nigerian men are like this, so it is not like that. Like you heard Miss um, Truly's story, a lot of you did not even watch it from the beginning to the end. You just watched where she said she could not do this, she that she wants to break up. Hey, Kenyan people hijacked that part and they started throwing shade at Ghanaians and with the Maya. You know, a lot of them said they want to go and report his account and bring down his account. It has not gotten to that point, my people. It is just our experience that she's sharing, which is not so deep, but they are cool. I don't know what you guys think about this video. Please drop a comment, like this video, share this video. Please turn the post notification to get notified whenever I post amazing content. A lot of you have been watching my videos. You do not subscribe. You do not share. Hey, please help me share my videos. Help me subscribe to my channel. Help me like. The like button is, I need the likes. It will help YouTube recommend my videos to many other viewers. Even if you can't comment anything, just comment, oh, thank you for thank you for sharing. Just comment, thank you for sharing more than 10 times. I'm okay. Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye.